because she had to stop being such a scaredy pony she had to pick today! What am I going to do? You really should have come to me sooner. You are carrying so much tension in that shoulder. <laughs> it's fine. It'll all be fine. The day isn't over yet, but it will be over soon. Ugh. It'll be all over. My time in Ponyville, my advanced studies. No, no, you're a good student. You can do this. Oh, but what if I can't? You can. You just have to keep it together. Keep it together! Are you talking to... yourself? Twilight? <laughs> Snap out of it! Huh? Are you okay? <laughs> Twilight, I'm really worried. I mean, this letter thing is really getting to you. Here, you've been so anxious all day that you completely forgot about the picnic. Why don't you just relax and go hang out with... The me? picnic! I should go see my friends. I'm glad you've come to your senses. Please tell me I did not forget the plates. <gasps> I did. I totally forgot them. Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst possible thing! <laughs> why? 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 Uh, what? You didn't expect me to lay on the grass, did you? You all right, huh? No! I am not all right. What? Oh, no. I don't quite understand. Do. It's just terrible. Yes. yes. Simply awful. Yes. yes. It's the most horrific trouble I've ever been in, and I really, really, really need your help. Yes. yes. My letter to Princess Celestia is almost overdue, and I haven't learned anything about friendship. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. I thought something really awful had happened. <laughs> If I don't turn in the letter on time, I'll be tardy! Tardy! Um. <laughs> no offense, Sugar Cube, but it looks like some ponies getting themselves all worked up over nothing. This is not nothing. This is everything. I need you guys to help me find some pony with a problem I can fix before sundown. My whole life depends on it! <laughs> oh, Twilight, you're such a crack up! <laughs> Come on now. Have a seat and stop sweating the small stuff. <gasps> wow, I've never seen Twilight so upset before. Oh, what a drama queen. <clears throat> Relatively speaking. Clock is ticking, Twilight. Clock is ticking. Keep it together. If I can't find a friendship problem, I'll make a friendship problem! Easy peasy, one, two, three. Right, you guys? Thank you. Oh no! Now I'm not 
not only gonna be stuck here forever, I'm gonna be stuck here forever with the most annoying turtle in the world! Right here. Where's Rainbow Dash? Great galloping galoshes. There's been an avalanche in there. Rainbow! Look! It's the turtle! Tortoise! Whatever. And he's carrying something on his back. Oh, it's Rainbow Dash! It's her! It's Rainbow! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Ray? Maybe we'd better go meet him halfway. Guy. Oh, thank goodness you're not hurt, Rainbow. Just my pride. I certainly hope all of this dreadful dust was worth it. <laughs> it sure was, if it means Rainbow gets to have her own little critter just like the rest of us from now on. Uh, thanks. What you did, I owe you one. Rainbow, your new pet is over here waiting for you. Oh, right. Yeah, that. Mm, what's the matter? You got your perfect pet, right? The best of the best like you wanted, remember? It can fly and it's not a squirrel. Should we sing about it again? A falcon sure looks good on you, Rainbow. Easy, fella. Nothing to be afraid of. The falcon sure does look cool. He's absolutely everything I wanted in a pet. <sighs> Yay? But I said whoever crosses the finish line with me gets to be my pet. You did! You did say that! She did say that! That was the rule! Slippers. Hey, get back to the hospital. What's all the ruckus? Uh, I'd say it's more of a fracas than a ruckus. What's going on, Rainbow Dash? <sighs> I'm an egghead. Pardon? 
See, I was trying to get back into the hospital to finish the last chapter of... Daring Do and the Quest for the Sapphire Statue. You got me. Wow. I knew the book was good, but I didn't know it could drive a pony to petty theft. Good? Try awesomely amazing! That book is undeniably, unquestionably, unputdownable! But then I had to put it down. I was sent home before I could finish it. Well, I'm glad that's all this is about. There's no reason to go around causing a ruckus. Fracas! Causing a fracas just because you like to read. Like I said, I have every book in the series, and you can borrow them all anytime you like. Thanks, Twilight. I'm sorry I made such a big deal about all this. I thought reading was just for smart ponies like you. Rainbow Dash, just because you're athletic doesn't mean you aren't smart. Yeah, just look at me! Reading is something every pony can enjoy, if they just give it a try. Yeah, I get it. I shouldn't knock something until I've tried it. That's a great lesson, and it would make a great letter to the princess. Did you get all that? Yeah. Great! You write the letter, I gotta finish this book. Pound cake? Here, pound cake!
<laughs> you know, you're right. That is funny. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, I've always had fun playing with little kids, and I thought babysitting meant just more playtime, right? Wrong! Being a caregiver is way more responsibility than just being a playmate. And today I learned that sometimes our desire for responsibility can outrun our actual ability to handle it. Pinkie Pie, we're back! How did everything go? <gasps> different can they be? Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them. Day, we are pleased to welcome Granny Smith. Um, Apple Bloom, is Granny Smith here? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Cheerley, but she got called out of town on account of a family emergency. Well, howdy, my little ponies! <laughs> This here diamond of yours? Twilight said we should split it six ways since we uh, found it together. Hey, try it, punk. He's mine. All mine. Yeah, yeah. Girls, why are you all acting like 
this. We need to stick together. <laughs> it's just too entertaining. Stop it, Discord. You're not playing fair. I'm not playing fair? Perhaps we haven't met. I'm Discord, spirit of chaos and disharmony. Hello. How are we supposed to find the elements of harmony when you took away the labyrinth before we could get to the end? Oh, wait, did you? <laughs> How funny. You thought the elements were in the labyrinth? Twists and turns on our master plan. Then find the elements back where you began. I never said they were in the labyrinth. But, but... Keep trying, Twilight Sparkle. Maybe the magic of friendship can help you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some chaos to wreak. Chocolate milk? I hate chocolate milk! Ugh. Think, Twilight, think. Find the elements back where you began. Back where you began. Don't touch my gem! I'm touching your gem, Rarity. Ha, ha! What you laughing at? Ugh, I just want to go home. Wait a minute. Home! Back where you began. The elements must be in Ponyville. Come on, girls. I'm certain this is what Discord's riddle really meant. If we get back to the library, I have a book that I just know can give us a clue. Yeah! Boy, Angel, Mama's so proud. Wow, I can see so much better now. Whoa. I meant to do that. Discord's turned our dirt roads into soap. Beautiful, isn't it? This is the new and improved Ponyville, and these are only my first changes. This may look like fun, but it's not. Ugh. Picture it, the chaos capital of the world. I can't picture anything. It's too dark. Well, wait a few minutes and you'll see it in the beautiful light of day, or not. Ponyville, the chaos capital of the world? Not if I have anything to say about it. Don't worry, you won't. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're here. Everyone, please, 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 just go inside, please. I absolutely refuse. With pleasure. I hate libraries! <sighs> Please, we gotta hurry. Forget it, Twilight. I know what you're up to. The second I go in, you'll have your little me and Spike come and take Tom. Tom? Well, it's not going to work. You're not going in without him, are you? <clears throat> Duh, fine. Oh, we might not have given Big Mac and Miss Cheerilee a love potion. We may have given them a love poison. What? what? Apparently, some prince a long time ago whipped up this recipe and gave it to this princess he liked. He meant it to be a love potion, but things didn't turn out so well. How not so well did things turn out? Well, there's something here about a dragon, the kingdom falling, Chaos reigning. Okay, apparently it was all because the prince and princess were so lost in each other's eyes that they couldn't perform their royal duties. Great! We've not only turned Big Mac and Miss Cheerley into a couple of nonsense spouting nincompoops, we may have put all of Ponyville in jeopardy! <laughs> Come on, Apple Bloom. Miss Cheerley and Big Mac don't have any royal duties. But they still got responsibilities. If we don't fix this, oh no, Miss Cheerley won't be able to teach. Big Mac won't be able to harvest any apples. And before you know it, Ponyville will be overrun with uneducated little pony star for apples. Oh, it'll be chaos, it'll be chaos! There's an antidote. Well, why didn't you say so? Didn't you see me getting 
no panic back there. If we can keep Miss Cheerley and Big Mac from looking into each other's eyes for one full hour, the love curse will be broken. Only an hour? <laughs> we can pull that off in a second. You take the first sip, Snuggle Wuggles. Nope, you take it, Snoodle Bump. No, you, Snooky Bumps. No, you, Pookie Pie. I'm all for romance, but this has been going on for hours. What's happened to these two? <laughs> Who knows? Well, these lovebirds will probably be planning a wedding soon. We can always use the catering business. A wedding? That's it! Miss Charlie and Big Mac should get married. How is getting hitched gonna keep them apart? They aren't really gonna get married. They're just gonna get ready to get married. <laughs> no, you, Biscuit Whiskey Bear. Nope, you have your little snuggy bunny. Hi, Miss Cheerley. How are you? I have a very special sun pony. I have a very special sun pony. Yeah, we noticed. Gosh, you two are so in love. The next thing you know, you'll be getting married. Wow. Right? That's right. Married. Married. Of course, if you're gonna get married, you wanna pick out a really nice diamond for your ugh. Schmoopy doopy a kooky pie. Diamond. Schmoopy. Don't you think you should start looking for your wedding dress? You'll want to look your best for your. Honey bunny snuggle baby. Now we just need to keep them apart. I'll keep Miss Truly occupied. You two do the same with Big Mac. No problem. Meet you back at the clubhouse in an hour when this whole mess is over. This one looks nice. Better try it on though. Ten minutes down, fifty minutes to go. It's this! A paper cut? Come on, Twilight, you really need to toughen up. Just clean it out and you'll be fine. The cut's in the exact same spot as the scar on future Twilight's cheek. We haven't changed the future at all. The disaster is still coming. If the disaster wasn't caused by Cerberus getting loose, then what could it possibly be? <laughs> I don't know, but maybe you ought to give the pacing a rest. You've worn a groove into the floor. I don't have time for another one of your lectures, Spike. This is serious. My lectures? I did everything I could think of to change the future. But it didn't work. So maybe it's not what I do. Maybe it's what I don't do. Huh? If I stand right here and don't move a muscle until next Tuesday, I can't possibly do whatever it is that Future Twilight wanted to warn me not to do. Really? So, no matter what happens, you're not gonna move a muscle, huh? Then maybe you won't mind if I... Eat an entire tub of ice cream! Mmm! Oh, so good! Mm. Uh, Spike, stop! Think of the stomach ache! <laughs> stomach ache, huh? That's future Spike's problem. Hey, Twilight! Another Pegasus just got back from Baltimore with an all clear and... <laughs> What's going on? Aren't you gonna stop him? She sure isn't. In fact, she's not gonna move till next Tuesday. She thinks it'll prevent the disaster from happening. <laughs> oh, this is too rich. <gasps> hey, Twilight, there's a mouse right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Let me try! Oh, no! What happened? I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to!
to. It was a total accident. Show me. Uh, I'm not so sure that's a... Show me. Oh, no. This is the same main cut as Future Twilight. You know, it really doesn't look too bad. I don't care how it looks. It's just another sign that the future hasn't changed. Not doing anything didn't work either. Oh, I wish there was a way to know what was going to happen so I could stop it. You want to see the future? I might know some pony who can help. What's this? It's Madam Pinky's place. Madam Pinky? Um, enter the chamber of Madam Pinkie Pie. For the answers you seek, let us consult the mystical orb of fate's destiny. Do you like my mystical orb of fate's destiny? I just got it. Cool, huh? Yeah, uh, best one I've seen. Look deep into the crystal ball, for soon it will reveal all. Ah, yes. I see something. It is a vision of the future. I see. You, Twilight, you will get a really cool birthday present next year. Yes, and? That's it. Are you sure? Yep, cool birthday present. Pinky, I need your pinky sense to tell me what the impending disaster is that future Twilight was trying to warn me about. Oh, my fortune telling has nothing to do with my pinky sense, silly. It's only good for vague and immediate events. Like that. See? Where did that even come from? <gasps> no pony breaks a pinky promise! Trouble. Ha, try and catch me now. 
Just like Miss Jubilee said. Don't you get it? There's every color of ribbon down there. Every color but blue. I came in fourth, third, even second. But I didn't win one first prize. And I certainly didn't win any prize money. But the telegram said you were going to send money. That's why I came here. I wanted to earn some money. After that big old send-off Ponyville gave me, I just didn't have the nerve to come home empty-hooved. I couldn't come home a failure. He's completely out of control. Who knows where he'll go next? <laughs> Perhaps some more ruffles. understand because you're a dragon and all. But this... This is a crime against fashion! <laughs> oh no, you are not getting this gemstone! <sighs> this was given to me by my dear friend Spikey Wikey, the kindest, sweetest, most generous dragon ever. And it is too precious to me to give to a greedy old beast like you! <laughs> Just in 
case we don't make it. I've always sort of had a crush. You're the legend of Nightmare Moon. Her spooky voice might work better if she wasn't dressed like that. <laughs> Follow me, and very soon, you'll hear the tale of Nightmare Moon. Listen close, my little dears. I'll tell you where you got your fears. Of Nightmare Night, so dark and scary. Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary. Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. But Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. <laughs> Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year. Oh, Miss Sakura. If we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two so she won't return to come eat you! your princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor 
do you? I can't believe it! Merduel is stronger than me? Well, a hero is more than just muscle. And she's gonna learn that the hard way. She saved all of us. We owe her our lives. Okay, she's strong, fast, and somehow knows what's gonna happen ahead of time. I gotta step up my game. The more hate the spirit feels, the colder things become. Then this is our fault. We three tribes. We brought this blizzard to our home by fighting and not trusting each other. Now it's destroying this land too. And now our bodies will become as cold as our hearts. All because we were foolish enough to hate. Well, I don't hate you. I actually hate Commander Hurricane a lot more than I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
Actually, I don't really hate her. I just really, 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 really dislike her. <laughs> well, I don't hate you guys either. Nor do I. No matter what our differences, we're all ponies. I didn't know unicorns could do that. I didn't either. Nothing like this has ever happened before. But I know it couldn't have been just me. It came from all three of us, joined together in friendship. All through the night, the three ponies kept the fire of friendship alive by telling stories to one another and by singing songs, which, of course, became the winter carols that we all still sing today. Eventually, the warmth of the fire and the singing and laughing reached the leaders and their bodies began to thaw. And it even began to melt their hearts. The three leaders agreed to share the beautiful land and live in harmony ever afterwards. And together, they named their new land Abrasia! More my speed and size. I'm telling you, we'll never pass for a real dragon. Oh, pish posh. This costume is fabulous. One of my finer creations. Shh. We'll never pass if they hear three voices coming out of one dragon. Now, come on, let's go. <laughs> um, excuse me? Uh, hi, I'm Spike. You sure your name is Spike and not Shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Spike. I mean, I'm sure about that. You look more like a peewee to me. <laughs> hey guys, come on, seriously, leave him alone, or he might fly away. That is, uh, if he had any wings. <laughs> <laughs> you flying on your mommy's back during the migration? Not exactly. No, no. Can't you see Baby Spike just hatched? I bet he still sucks his claw at night. No, I haven't sucked my claw in months. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you weren't just hatched, how come we haven't seen you around before? Oh, well, you see, I live in Ponyville, and, and I'm... <laughs> Ponyville? That explains it. I knew there was something vaguely ponyish about you. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were part pony. Who, me? I'm not part pony. I'm all dragon. See? Or maybe you're a pony in a dragon costume. <laughs> <laughs> you're a pony in a dragon costume? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hilarious. <laughs> I am a real dragon. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Well, how? By acting like one. Who's up for a little belching contest? <laughs> <laughs> Princess Celestia. Dear Spike, please tell... <laughs> Get 
get this, guys. Spike's pen pals with a Namby Pamby Pony Princess. <laughs> <laughs> How can he just throw that away? That letter could be something important. We can't worry about that now, Twilight. We're here to help Spike. I know, I know. There's no reason to disrespect Princess Celestia that way. Maybe tail wrestling is more your speed. Uh, yeah! Ready? The winner! <laughs> Good old tail wrestling. We can't let little spiky wikey wrestle one of them. He'll get clobbered. Let's go. I challenge Spike to a tail wrestle. Who's this weirdo? I think he's Crackle's cousin. <laughs> Oh, that would explain it. Ready? Go! <laughs> Spike's the winner! <laughs> nice going, little Spike. Maybe you are a dragon after all. Yeah! Maybe I am! Rainbow Dash, I can't believe your silly plan actually worked. Ow. <laughs> Stop laughing at me! Oh, poor Pinkie Pie. And here I thought laughter made you happy. Happy? I think so. Pinkie Pie, are we glad to see you? Oh, you are, huh? Why? Need a good laugh. Pinky? What do you suppose has her so upset? It's not like her. I didn't notice anything strange about Pinky. Weird. Better pick up the pace before the stress of this gets the better of all of us. I was expecting an audience with the princess, not outdoor sport. <laughs> oh my. Welcome to your lucky day, Rarity. You found the one thing in Equestria that could rival my face for sheer beauty. What do you think you like? Yes, I like very much. No, no. I shan't succumb to such fabulousness. But get to the center to meet the others. <laughs> took forever, but it was worth it. Who knew three little gemstones would turn out to be this handsome hunk of a diamond? <gasps> now to get you home. Huh? Rarity, are we glad to see? Why are you carrying a humongous boulder? What do you mean, boulder? This big, beautiful, bedazzling rock is a diamond! And it's all mine. Keep your envious little eyes off it! I found it and it's mine, fair and square! Okay, I can do this. I can... No! Oh, wait a minute! Butterflies? Wait! Don't leave me here! Fluttershy, looks like you've been left behind by your so-called friends, huh? Oh, no. I'm certain they're doing their best to find me. Well, it must be so upsetting to know how weak and helpless they think you are. Not at all. I am weak and helpless, and I appreciate their understanding. Yes, well, surely it burns you up. I mean, that they're always pointing out your flaws, right? Not really. In fact, I think I'm awfully lucky to have friends who want me to be the best I can be. Oh, for goodness sake! You've been kind for far too long, my dear. Time to be cruel! Arrivederci! 
Mother Shy. I'm so glad to see a friendly face. This awful labyrinth is getting to every pony. Oh, boo hoo hoo. Why don't you wave your magic little horn and make everything all right? Uh. Oh, that's right. You can't. You don't have one. What is happening to my friends? <laughs> and what are you laughing at? Chuggle milk. Uh, little help here. Thanks, Twilight. You're welcome. But don't get any ideas about my gen. I know where you live. 